guys! How y'all doing? This is Scrotitis, and we're here in another episode of Let's Play Tech It. So, what do we got going on today, guys? We are hanging out in the advanced labs, as you can see. And uh, I think our plans today are going to be for some computer craft work. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is something that I've wanted to do for a little bit. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into things. Uh, computer craft is a really unique mod that's included in the Tech It Pack. And it's uh, exactly what it's called. It is computers. You can write programs and they can do different functions. Uh, we're going to have our main computer hub, I think right here is where we're going to put it, in the uh, advanced labs. And we're going to have, I'm, I'm gonna, my, my goal is to write a couple different programs, and one being to control our canning machine. Um, we may have one over here because we're going to have our coal processing over here when we get to it. So uh, that's some stuff to, that we're going to do with this moving forward but first let's do some crafting uh, with computer craft there are a bunch of different pieces uh, there is a uh, monitor uh, hard drive uh, floppy or not hard drive a floppy drive uh, floppy disk and uh, the most important thing which is the uh, console I thought that's what it was called console is that not what it's called? Computer. Ah, it's just called a computer. And the glorious thing about all these um, builds is that they are made with smooth stone, redstone, glass, and I think paper is the only other bit that's used. So you know what? I got all the pieces we're going to need. Let's jump into a double time here, and I will craft up everything we're going to be using today, all right? Alright guys, so there we are. We've got all of our essential pieces. We've got our bundled cables, uh, different colored cables. We've got uh, blue dye uh, here we're going to do as well. Uh, we've got a disk drive. We've got our computer. We've got monitors. We've got floppy disk. We've got all the essentials of any important 1995 <laughs> Macintosh computer. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and put one of these together, and the first thing that you need to know about computer craft is I am far from an expert. Um, I really don't know much of anything uh, other than they do some cool things, and I want to try to do some cool things, so that's why we're, we're using them. Uh, you can write programs to control different things, uh, redstone wiring uh, through something that's called RedNet. And that's what our main function is going to be, is I'm going to tear up all these different individual switches and uh, all these different individual redstone lines, and we're going to run dun -dun -dun -dun, cables all over the place, connecting everything up, and then we will uh, 
have our computer run our canning machine, which would be pretty cool. But let's show you first what this thing looks like, okay? And uh, you start off with your basic building block of a, you know what, let me see. I feel like we should center it on the wall, actually, looking at this. I think we should just center it. Just to satisfy my OCD. We can do this and that. And then we'll go plunk. You know what? That's going to have to be like that, that. And I'll explain that in a second. But right? Oh. Come on. And yes, you don't need any special tools. You can use your, your wrench as is. So there's our computer. Okay. Craft OS 1.4. Ready to rock and roll. There's even a prompt for you. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a disk drive. Let's put our disk drive. It has to be adjacent to your main computer. So there that is. Uh, it does take um, floppy disk. Like I said, 1995, fellas. Uh, and, and ladies, sorry. Um, and you can actually save to these. It's pretty cool. You just put it right in the drive and the light indicator is on. Uh, let's see. We're going to do something cool here in a second. Let's, okay, I'll show you the monitors now, okay? Now, we made 10 monitors, and it's way too many because I overestimated the scale uh, and size of this wall. I, uh, I thought I wanted to do the whole wall. You know what? Maybe I should move that back one more and actually put it up. Again. Nah, you know what? We're going to need room for wiring. Okay, so anyway, there's our monitor right there, right, guys? No, we actually messed up. The monitor has to be adjacent to the computer. So there's our monitor. Oh, wait. Look at that. It snapped together. Pretty cool, right? And you can keep going. As many as you wanted to go. You could have it wrap around the entire room. Well, you could have it from there to there. It has to be a straight line. But uh, we're not finished yet, guys. We're going to actually take it up a, a level, too. And you see how it's divided? It will connect. Don't worry. Boom. Right like that. Pretty cool, guys, right? I think it's awesome. And for the time being, we're just going to fill that in with some stones there. But uh, there are, is the basic building blocks for our first computer, and I am very excited about it. Now, I'm uh, not sure what we do here. Interactive Lua Pro. There we go. So. Now. So Lua is the programming language. This is what we would write any of our programs in. We don't have any programs, so we just exit. And we're back to our normal uh, computer prompt there. Now, I don't think... Not a directory. Oh, well, we're not in a directory, so there's no... This is a change directory, and then dot dot moves you one level up. Um, I think it's just help if you type. There you go. So by typing help, you get a list of all the different things uh, that come built in with it. So let's see. Help programming. I'm not going to waste a lot of time with this. Uh, everything's really intuitive and, and self-helpful, so you can just read along through these things like I am. I just want to give you guys sort of a base for computer craft, okay? So any key to continue can read down here help APIs now this is cool f if you want to write any of your own programs or I guess you can just write APIs huh these are things that are pre-written in here that you can add to your code to help things uh, help things move along and the most important one here guys is going to be this red net this is what is uh, this is what actually sends well, you use it in your code, but that's what uh, actually you can use to control redstone signals to and from. Okay, so there's the basic layout that we've got so far. Uh, what I'm going to do then after that is, what's a computer without some cables, right? Our bundle cables are going to come right off the back of our main computer. And uh, what we're actually going to be doing with them is running them underground. I don't have any of this dug out, and I probably won't do this with you guys. Uh, it'll be something that we'll handle off camera. Because, uh, again, that's a tedious task that no one really needs to see. But, again, just to interact, 
uh, you don't click on the monitor you click down here and let me see if I can remember how to do this um, Lua output no print it's print monitor string now you know what give me one second guys all right guys sorry about that just had to do a bit of research this is actually pretty simple uh, so here's our big old monitor and you can have it just one block we decided to connect three and the reason for that is we are going to write to that monitor uh, and we're going to do just a real simple code here so uh, where are those APIs again oh wait exit okay we're going to put APIs, and you see right here one that says peripheral. That means that it's a, a device that we can use, right? So real quick, let's go into our Lua code, and we are going to write a code that's going to say monitor, and we're going to set that as a... Oh. Let's try this again. We're going to set that as a variable of a peripheral. I'm not gonna go all crazy code on us, all right? And we gotta say wrap because oh, come on! And we gotta say wrap. Top because there's multiple ones in there above it. So then you do that. That sets the 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 variable of monitor, okay? And then we can say we are going to. Um, What is it now, guys? Um, write. And if anybody's ever had a programming class at one time or another, you've come across Hello World. So let's see if that works. There we go, guys. Hello World. Right on our monitor. So that's kind of how... That's a very simple code that we're going to do. My goal is I'm going to write a program that we're going to be able to come in here and we're going to run it. I'm probably going to save it on the floppy disk just because I think that would be cool. Um, and we're going to have these bundled cables going out, run into each one of these redstone uh, engines with certain signals. And what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll say, you know, run whatever. And I'll hit enter and it'll, it'll actually run. And then when it does that, we'll have a display here that says oh I'm doing this and I'm doing that and it will be super cool and advanced and fit properly in our advanced labs I think so at least so uh, that's the idea for over here I'll probably remove the torches because that's not very computer like and we'll add some uh, some lamps give it an ambiance maybe we'll put them here I don't know um, so yeah, that, that'll be our computer. Um, maybe we'll name him Hal. I don't know. It's a good name for computers. But uh, real quick, uh, I want to actually delve into another portion of the computer craft, which is really awesome. And I want to get to learn more about these as well. And that is what is called a turtle. Okay. So we've got our computer, and we've got a pickaxe, and we need a chest. And I believe you line them up like that. No. Okay. Hold on a second. A turtle. I thought that was it. But we will double check. And there are tons, as you guys can see. We want a mining turtle. Not wireless. Just regular. And a turtle is not crafting. Come on, guys. Mining, mining turtle. There it is, turtle. Iron ingot, dummy. We didn't bring any iron ingot. All right. You know what? I'll meet you back over. Or let's let's go for a walk here. I know it's night, but I want to show you real quickly here. We uh, started working on a door. It's in the very early phases, and there is a block that just floats in midair. But the design of it is. Is pretty cool. It's um, it's it's pretty close to exactly what I want in terms of that. There's a little step down. I like that about it. Uh, right now we've just got levers on both sides, but I've got some more plans for this. I think we're going to change some textures around and whatnot. But uh, things are coming along well here for the most part. 
So anyway, let's get over here and work on our mining turtle, which these things are super awesome. Uh, so we need iron, and we totally forgot that we did. So we've got our computer. That goes in the middle, and we need a chest for storage, and we need iron around the outside, and that is a turtle. Now, you take a turtle, and you turn it into any of these cool ones that you want through different uh, additions of diamond tools. We are adding a pickaxe because we want it to be a mining turtle, and there it is, guys. Uh, you know what else I forgot that we needed? Coal. Because it needs fuel. I wonder if we can use biofuel for it. It'll be a fun little test to see if our biofuel will be good for running turtles, perhaps. Kind of cool. Wave of the future, technology, and advanced fuels, right? We're going green here at Advanced Labs. And you know what? I haven't seen Phil around here this episode. He's usually pretty helpful but I don't seem to uh, I don't know he may have had enough of us guys he may have uh, he may have headed out that's all right we can do we can we can we can work things out and and and, and uh, try to get things together here so anyway um, I'm not I'm far from an expert with anything computer craft right but one thing that I do want to do is I want to test the turtle out and we'll probably close the episode out with that so first things first let's plug up this hole over here so we don't want anybody coming in and blowing us up okay well hello where did you come from, kind sir? I'll just be... Killing you! <laughs> um, I obviously missed the hole over here, guys. Um, and that was odd that he didn't kill me because I was AFK. But we'll just plug it up like that, like that, like that. We got a torch. Yeah, we got some torches here. All right. So... What I want to do is, uh, here's our advanced labs, and I want to run, oh, you know what we need? We need another chest. I don't have one, right? No. Hopefully this works on the first try, but I want to use a turtle to exca excavate down to a, our diamond level so that we can start, uh, mining out this area for diamonds and um, different uh, redstone and things of that nature. So, if you put a chest down, and then you put a turtle down next to it, I believe. Okay, and that's pretty cool looking. That's our turtle. You open it up, and this is where the fuel goes. So let me put this in here. And I know you have to tell him to fuel... No such program. Help. Okay. Um, programming. Help what's new. Help index. Help index. Uh, excava excavate is what we're going to be using right there. But there needs to be a fuel one. I see. Refuel. There it is. Okay. Okay. Refuel. So you tell them to refuel. And that it used the full fuel. And it, that's awesome that we know that it can use the um, a biofuel. So that's cool. And so now uh, what we want to tell it to do is we want it to X co shoot. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it. What was that again? No, help. Uh, 
Index. No. Index. Help index. There we go. X cut bait. Okay. Oh, wrong button. This is the first time that I've used any of this, guys, so. X bait. And I think if you just put one next to it, it'll be one wide hole and it'll go all the way down. I think. So, let's see. Excavating. There we go, guys. And... Wow. It just took off. There it goes. And I believe, since I set it next to a chest, when it fills up, it should come back up and put its items in there. Let's go uh, drop off our empty fuel can. The one thing about these guys is that they are not very fuel efficient. So, um, let's actually take two of those and go check out what's going on over here now. Let's go see. How's our... Okay, jetpack's doing good. Wow. This guy is just cruising along. And it's at bedrock. Oh! Look out! He's coming to get us! Shoot! Wow. So is he returning back up? Look! There he comes! And... Oh, it just shoots everything right out. Okay, I thought it was supposed to use this chest. But, uh... Not bad. Pretty cool. What do you guys think? Um, that is our mining turtle. We need to give him a name. Um, actually... One thing that you can do... Is label them, I believe. And if we call him, I don't know why, but I think Simon is a good name for him. So, label, set, Simon. Computer set to Simon. So, this is our turtle name, Simon. We're going to figure out how to get him to work with a chest. I know there's a way to do it. Maybe it has to be behind him over there. Uh, we'll figure that out, guys, but that's a basic for a tutorial, or for a turtle. Over here is our building blocks for our computer, and uh, we've got some cabling that we've got to run. We're going to clear some stuff out, but this is uh, some building blocks for uh, some really fantastic things. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are, too. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. So... Uh, once again, guys, this is Scrotitis. I hope you guys had some fun. I hope you guys learned some things. I did as usual. So uh, if you liked the episode, go ahead and throw a like in the bottom. If not, just thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. We will see ya.